Today, let us see about irrigant solutions used in endodontics. Irrigation is a process commonly done concomitantly with root canal shaping. The most commonly used irrigating solutions are sodium hypochlorite and EDTA along with chlorhexidine. Sometimes normal saline is also used as irrigant solution. In this video, we will see about sodium hypochlorite and EDTA. Sodium hypochlorite contains 5% chlorine and it is the most commonly used irrigant in endodontics. It is a clear straw colored solution. The main mechanism of action of sodium hypochlorite is ioni after ionization, hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ion are formed and these both have antimicrobial property. Sodium hypochlorite was introduced into endodontics by Coolidge in 1919 and Dakin was the first person to use in treatment of wounds during World War I. He used a percent of 0.5% and it is also known as Dakin's solution. So as we saw the mechanism of action is basically dependent on the ionization process after which sodium hypochlorite turns into hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ion. This process antimicrobial property and the antimicrobial property is by two phases. The destruction of bacteria happens by these two phases. First is the penetration of bacteria into cell wall followed by disruption of the DNA synthesis in combination with chemical combination with protoplasm. So in this process of antimicrobial property the reactions involved include the five mentioned here. It includes saponification reaction, amino acid neutralization, hypochlorous acid formation, chloramination reaction and the high alkaline nature of this solution. pH is almost greater than 11. All these five properties of sodium hypochlorite helps in the antimicrobial property of this solution. So apart from the antimicrobial property, what else helps in the uh, use of sodium hypochlorite as an irrigant tissue dissolution ability as you could see it completely dissolves pulp that is the organic content in within 20 minutes to 2 hours this is the most important feature of sodium hypochlorite and it is useful in inaccessible canals and c-shaped canals where instrumentation cannot be relied fully so the second property is the concentration. The most effective concentration of sodium hypochlorite is 5.2% but the, due to the cytotoxic nature of sodium hypochlorite, 2.5% is the highly used. Usually it ranges from 0.5 to 5.2% and because of these properties it is the most commonly used irrigant as a lubricant and the antimicrobial nature as we saw earlier and solvent of the pulp tissue this capacity makes it an ideal irrigant solution finally we should conclude with the limitations of NaOCl NaOCl as we saw cytotoxicity is the major disadvantage of sodium hypochlorite as long as it remains in the canal it is not a problem it just dissolves the pulp tissue but once it when it crosses the peri apex the um, process is known as NaOCl accidents, sodium hypochlorite accidents which are common because of the inadvertent extrusion into the periapex during irrigation. To prevent this, we can use side vented needles where the vent is usually on the sides rather than the open end and this side vented needles helps in passing of the solution through the side vents and prevents uh, extrusion of solution beyond the periapex. And it is also uh, uh, the accidents are prevented by uh, passively placing the irrigate, irrigating needle in the apical third and not forcing them. And also unpleasant taste, chlorine uh, ion is usually unstable, with, uh, it will get destroyed within 2 minutes and uh, we have to replenish the sodium hypochlorite continuously because of this and it does not remove the inorganic content of the smear layer as i saw as i said uh, the organic content pulp is completely removed but the inorganic content of the smear layer and dentinal debris are not removed with sodium hypochlorite these are other limitations of sodium hypochlorite which makes us consider other irrigant solutions like adta as subsequent to sodium hypochlorite and finally to finish it off 
how to increase the efficacy of sodium hypochlorite it is a very potent solution how to use it to its maximum effect because of this toxicity we are always using it in a decreased concentration of 2.5 or lesser than that and because of that we have to increase the volume of irrigant since the concentration is very minimum we are increasing the volume of irrigant used and also the solution is activated by ultrasonic activation are recently advised and warming the irrigant solution uh, will help in activating the solution and also increasing the exposure time will help in um, more potentiating the solution.